everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making an amazing tailgate chili on the Memphis Pro Card ITC3. So the first thing that we need to do is to create two spice mixes. So here's how we're gonna do that. For the first spice mix, we're gonna add one tablespoon each of onion powder and roasted garlic. Then we wanna add two tablespoons each of beef bouillon powder and chicken bouillon powder. Next, we need to add four tablespoons of New Mexico chili. And we also wanna add one tablespoon of chili de arbol. And last but not least, we're gonna add one teaspoon each of cayenne pepper and telly cherry black pepper. For the second spice mixture, we wanna add two tablespoons of New Mexico chili. We wanna add two tablespoons of chili de arbol. We also wanna add two tablespoons of chili pasilla. Then we need to add one tablespoon of cumin. We need to add two teaspoons of roasted garlic and one teaspoon of brown sugar. And last but not least, we wanna add two pouches of Sazon Goya. So now when both spice mixes are done, we want to set up the Memphis grill for direct flame grilling, medium temperature. So here's what we need to do. We're going to start the grill by initiating the start sequence, and then we want to bring it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. When the grill sits at 400 degrees, we want to remove the grates and insert the direct flame insert. Then we're going to click direct flame grilling on the display and choose the medium setting. Remember to always keep the lid open when using direct flame grilling. So now when the Memphis grill is set up for direct flame grilling, it's time to put together the tailgate chili. So here are the steps. We're gonna place a large cast iron pan in the grill. And then we wanna lightly brown about four pounds of chili ground brisket in some olive oil. When you have a nice light brown color, you wanna drain off the grease and set the meat aside. Quickly clean out your pot and then add the brown meat back to the pot again. And then we're gonna add a liter each of beef and chicken stock. We also wanna add two jalapenos and two yellow hot peppers. And we're just gonna let them simmer in the chili throughout the cook. And now we wanna cook this for about 45 minutes. So it's been about 45 minutes now. The chili has been simmering nicely. So now it's time to add a few more ingredients. So here's what we need to do. You wanna stir the sauce and then add one cup of tomato paste. And we also need to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Last but not least, we're gonna add the first spice mixture and then we're gonna keep stirring and cooking for another 30 minutes. So it's been another 30 minutes. The chili is simmering along nicely. So it's time to add a few more ingredients. So here's what we need to do. Now it's time to add four cans of bush chili beans that's been drained. And we also need to add the second spice mixture. And now we wanna keep on simmering on medium heat for another 20 minutes. We're gonna remove the peppers from the chili and then squeeze the juices back into the chili. Feel free to add a little bit more salt or cayenne pepper if needed. Then we're gonna pour some chili in a bowl, top it with some chopped onions and some grated cheddar cheese, and then serve with some saltines. So, that is how I make my tailgate chili on the Memphis Pro Card ITC3. If you like this recipe, please subscribe to Memphis Woodfire Grill's YouTube channel or check out their website, www.memphisgrills.com for more recipes like this. And I think the only thing left to do is to try the chili and see what it tastes like. Smells good, color is beautiful. Here we go. Mm. Perfectly balanced. Has a good heat level, but not too much. This is a really good chili. I hope you try it at home. Happy grilling.